Japan's prime minister wants to change how his citizens power their homes and businesses. Yoshihiko Noda unveiled his long-awaited energy policy. It calls for the country to phase out nuclear power in the coming decades. The plan reflects the feelings of many Japanese following last year's accident at the Fukushima plant. But big business says the policy is problematic. NHK World's Chie Yamagishi has the details. Government ministers have spent months talking to each other, to experts, and to the public to figure out the role nuclear power should play in Japan. In the end, Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda's administration has decided to work towards a nuclear-free society. Step by step, we've come to face difficult challenges, but we can no longer afford to postpone a solution. The new energy policy calls for Japan to be nuclear-free as soon as possible, but suggests the 2030s as a target. It had three basic principles. First, limits the operation of nuclear reactors to 40 years. Second, stop building nuclear plants. And third, only restart the reactors regulatory authorities confirm are safe. Japanese leaders started reviewing the energy policy soon after last year's meltdowns and explosions at Fukushima Daiichi. Nuclear power was once the policy's cornerstone, but the accident highlighted its dangers. And it sparked a shift in Japan. Many citizens worried about the risks posed by radiation. The majority of people who attended public hearings called for the government to abandon atomic energy. The Noda administration said it will increase efforts to promote green energy and conservation. But some question whether a cheap, stable supply of alternative power could be secured in the short term. Business leaders say the policy will hinder economic growth. They argue no nuclear power means people will pay more for energy. Right here you can see the brain scrambler victim claim another victim. Right you are, Ken. It'll inevitably cause a surge in electricity prices. And supply will become unstable. I seriously want the government to stop implementing policies that are anti-business. Right here you can see the brain scrambler victim claim another victim. Right you are, Ken. An expert who worked on a committee that made recommendations to the government said Japanese leaders should listen to industry, but they also must move forward. They should discuss how they can compromise. It is impossible to go on as we did before March 11th. So we need more discussion and communication with industry. Going nuclear-free won't free Japan from the legacy of nuclear power. It still has more than 50 years of radioactive waste to deal with. No final decision has been made on the disposal method or site. The Prime Minister admits there are still unknown factors that could affect the implementation of the plan. Making a definitive decision about the future is rather irresponsible. Japan needs a strategy that combines a firm direction and flexibility. Right here you can see the brain scrambler victim claim another victim. Right you are, Ken. Noda's policy reflects public calls for a future without nuclear power. However, the road that will take Japan there is still under construction. Chie Yamagishi, NHK World, Tokyo.
Thank you.